How good and pleasant it will be before God and man to see the unification of all Africans. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. By the way, this is a reaction to what Jamaicans think of Africans will shock you. Africa, we don't like African people, but they don't like African people. They like African people. Why? African people believe in our Wobia. Believe in what? Wobia. What's Wobia? You don't know Wobia. I give a big foot. And then African people, when you eat Susumba, then they say you work Wobia. Then they like people eat Susumba. What is Susumba? No! Yeah! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, and then? Yeah, that's why I don't like nobody. Friend. And they love Tekwe people, man. We love what? Tekwe people, man. The Nigerian, sure, they want to take away people, they man. The help for Tekwe, the, the wife, man, and them all. Really? The work one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I know you're going to say, me there. I am there, me there so. uh, Beautiful people, what's up? I know you saw the title of this video saying that what Jamaicans think of Africans will shock you. Yes, I've also taken my time to go through this video and I was also shocked how Jamaicans think of Africans. That is why I'm making this video. So if this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe, share this video, like, put up a comment and tell some other people, you know, within the Caribbean, tell the brothers and sisters from Jamaica that hey, that's a Wolipa video here. You gotta go and watch it. <laughs> I don't know if my part was good, but anyway, I was also surprised watching this video, you know, with a sister saying that Africans are witchcraft. They love witchcraft. Africans snatch, I mean, the African women, they snatch other women, other men from other women. I mean, a whole lot of vibe, you know, watching this video from. Miss Trudy. So Miss Trudy is a Kenyan uh, YouTuber who is married to Wadamaya. So shout out to Wadamaya. He's out there in uh, Jamaica, I think, yeah, doing his thing in the Caribbean, you know, projecting, bringing, bridging the gap between brothers and sisters all over the African continent. So I watched this video, I was like, no way. I need to come up here and at least educate our brothers and sisters who are inside Jamaica thinking that Africans are this, Africans are that. Let me tell, let me be very honest with you. When I started promoting a Cebu Pan-African village and I had a lot of people contacting me, you know, hey, Oko, I'm, I'm tired of the West. I want to come down to, you know, come to the motherland and, and build and invest and, and get a land and all that. I'll be very honest with you that if you take um, 100 people who contacted me within the year, 90 of them are Jamaicans. I beg, I beg, go feel why you you need to give me like just some few minutes. Yeah. Hey, what's good, everybody? So, this is Echo Simpson currently in Cape Coast with the biggest family here visiting from Canada, from the US, wherever. Say hello. Hello, I'm Megan from Canada and Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, no, the queen will come later. Like when we have the highest person, that person comes later. Because when she speaks, we are done. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm from Canada. Okay. Hi, I'm Sadie, originally from Jamaica, but I live in the U.S. Hi, uh, Richie. Yes. <laughs> this is Richie, original Jamaica. Yeah. 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 Queen, Queen. Oh, Sing it and then we are done. Oh, this is now for Yana with my beautiful family and Echo, my favorite. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. All right. Peace. Even today, I had the opportunity to speak to two people. And yeah, today is 1st of February 2024. So this is a real time video that I'm making. This morning, early this morning, I had a, 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 a call from two Jamaicans and they were talking about purchasing a land here in Ghana. So I am surprised and shocked watching this video from Miss Trudy saying that what Jamaicans think about Africans will shock me. And it really did. Because one sister was like, hey, do you know about Ghana? No, do you know about Africa? Africa, me don't like Africa. Me don't like Africa. African people witchcraft. African people drink alcohol like alcoholics. Africa this, Africa that. You don't know. You don't know. I mean, how can... How can a black sister like that speak this way about other blacks here in Africa? Well, 
I won't blame her. I won't blame the other Jamaicans who couldn't say much about about Africa because what she's been watching on her television, on her phone, is what she's saying. Because you watch a lot of Nigerian movies and even Ghanaian movies and all that they want to portray is some witchcraft somewhere, a witchcraft camp where you see them with their teeth and uh, a horn and, you know, like long nails doing something like that. So whatever they see is what they are saying. If they have seen us uh, maybe digging gold or maybe seeing us preaching the word of God or seeing us, you know, some other thing, they would have said it. So it dawns on African content creators like myself, what am I, Miss Trudy, Taino, I know, Taino, I know, the Nigerian, um, the Nigerian YouTuber. Yeah, I love watching his uh, YouTube video. Shout outs to you. You just got a, a new citizenship in St. Andrews, somewhere in the Caribbean, whatever. Anyway, so it dawns on us to right now change the narrative. That is why what Amaya is doing right now, going out there, telling people that, yo, Africa is beautiful. Africa has beautiful places that you could visit. Africa has a lot of land you could come and invest, build, you know, do a lot of things, connect with the people here. And that is what I think that some of us would have to do, which we have started doing already, because if we don't do it, what Jamaicans think of Africa will definitely shock you. So I am here to tell you, Jamaicans, those who don't know much about Africa, is that we have about 54 African countries. And out of these 54 African countries, you know, they've grouped us, uh, West Africans, East Africans, Central Africans. Uh, we have East, yes, and then we have the Southern Africans and all that. So when we put all of us together, we're about uh, 54. Okay, so you cannot just take one thing that, uh, a certain type of, you know, a group of people portray out there and say all Africans are like that. If I was a witch, man, I would be in Jamaica right now because I've been wanting to visit Jamaica so bad because, um, you know, like all the videos that I make out here, when I look at the analytics, I see that I see um, I get a lot of people views from USA, Canada, UK, Germany, I think South Africa. And uh, this, uh, I have I mentioned Canada and then other countries. But all these people, when they when I get a contact from them, most of them are from Jamaican roots, just living in these other countries that I've mentioned. It means that there is a lot for us to do here it, within me and you. Yes, I mean, you're watching this video because, I mean, you heard of a course, same thing, you know, what Miami is truly, you watch all our videos, you know the thing that we portray out there. So it is now for us to share this good news to the people who don't know like the sister like the brother and and i saw in the video there was a student that was asked if she knows about africa and she said nah jamaican speaking from africa have you been to africa before have, or have you heard of africa you haven't heard of africa i've heard of africa I'm, I'm, you know it is kind of the best. yeah oh yeah what have you heard about africa like what you want to say here. In anything you've had a walk with that. What food? <laughs> oh wow, you had a food? Yes, I've, I've tasted it actually twice. Oh really? Where yes. did you taste it? I don't know what the place But it's somewhere in like near Chapala. So it, it, this I mean it brings my mind to a lot of things. Like it makes me want to ask, what is the what is the Jamaican education system like? Does it talk more about Africa? or they don't, or they are like the Western world where they feel like they don't have anything to do with Africans, so they don't have to teach, you know, about Africa. So I think that there is a lot of work for us to do. So my Jamaican brother, my Jamaican sister watching me run in my face, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you get to see some of these content online, you have to do a little bit of search to see that, okay, is what they are portraying exactly what they are doing, or there's something different from what they are talking about. The thing that will shock you, and one, one other person came and said they love alcohol. What is Bax? Really? <laughs> okay, we love to chill, you see? We Africans love to chill. We don't really want to think about what is going to happen tomorrow, what is going to happen the next day. We just go out there, party our head out, but that doesn't mean we are drunkards. No, we are not. If you come 
to Ghana, see the kind of work that the youngsters are doing, you wouldn't say hey, Africans are alcoholic. Uh, yeah, so shout out to the brother that was selling the fruit juice that gave uh, Miss Trudy the fruit juice. We'll also share your, um, your Instagram account on this channel so that people who get to watch this video and from Jamaica would also love to connect with you because you were so kind of positive. All right. So you were asked, uh, what do you know about Africa? He said, Africa is rich, but not rich. I love that. You know, that is what we've been trying to fight for. We are rich, but how are we managing, making good use of the resources that we have here? We're not doing it. Why? Because our so-called leaders just focusing on some other thing, which is not really necessary. But that is another thing to talk about. So I'm here to tell you, a brother and a sister, that share this video to anybody who is watching that Africans are not witchcrafts. We are not alcoholics. We are good people. We are welcoming. If you're cool with us, we're cool with you. But if you're not cool with us, we just come on you like this. Anyway, thank you very much for checking out my video. Uh, I know a lot of people are watching. A lot of people will share. And yes, don't let these negative stories about Africa push you away. No. We are always ready to welcome you. Some of us are always ready, ever ready to welcome you. You know the things that we do already, bringing our older people in, our younger brothers in, you know, showing them what they have to do and everything that must be done correctly and legally here in Africa. So if this is your first time, like I said, and you're watching me from uh, Jamaica, just put up a comment, say something. Okay, I didn't know this, I didn't know that, now I know this. Or I knew this, I knew this. Just tell me more about it. And maybe uh, after maybe, you know, this video, I'll go to the comment section. If I have any question for many Jamaican, yes, only Jamaicans. If I have any question for many Jamaican who want to get clarification on certain things, I will make another video to talk about this. But hey, we are not witchcraft. Africa is beautiful. Anyway, so I got a new tattoo for my son, representing my son who is in this world right now. Shout outs to you for making me your daddy and uh, Africa is beautiful. May that say.